A certain journalist named Eric Van Haren was the first to break the news about Christian Horner's investigation. Somebody who has inside information about Red Bull and who definitely doesn't like Christian Horner leaked the allegation to this journalist. A few people pointed to the fact that since the journalist is Dutch and works for a Dutch paper, there was a strong possibility that Jos Verstappen, who is Dutch, leaked the news. The relationship between Horner and Verstappen's father is sour. The father always wants his son to have preferential treatment, but Horner doesn't like to be told how to run his team. So, under this situation, it would seem feasible that Verstappen's father was the one who leaked the initial allegation. But whoever took these to the media hates Horner and wants to force Red Bull to take action rather than sweep it under the carpet. As we will later reveal, there is a good chance that Horner would have survived it, if not that the whole world is now watching how Red Bull will handle it. On today's episode, more revelations about Horner's allegations have emerged, and we are afraid it is not related to subjecting a junior to harsh managerial treatment. Christian Horner has been accused of sexual misconduct towards a female employee. The exact nature of the sexual misconduct the length of time over which it happened, as well as the alleged bribery, will be discussed in this video. Hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Welcome to Front Lockout. Eric Van Haren, who broke the initial news of the Christian Horner allegation, has an update and it is not what we expected to hear. Some already dismiss this latest update by saying that the newspaper he works for has little reputation, as they are known for prioritizing sensationalism over facts. However, regardless of the reputation of the organization he works for, he was right the first time, and it is safe to assume that he is right this time around. According to the journalist, Horner engaged in sexual misconduct towards a female employee, and she was the one who reported him to headquarters. It was stated that the misconduct happened over text messages, and it occurred over a considerably long period of time. However, the exact content of what Horner sent is still unknown. Unfortunately, the world we live in has gotten crazy. A man can get called to HR for mere complimenting a colleague's dress, so it is possible that this whole thing might have been blown way out of proportion. This is especially the case if other top people in an organization do not like you. Someone who has a grudge against him leaked this to the press. Some said it was Verstappen's father, and it gets even crazier, as others have said Verstappen knows about the leak since he didn't appear surprised by the whole news. There are also issues between Horner and Helmut Marko. Horner and Helmut Marko are no longer on good terms. Horner could have booted him out of the team, but Verstappen threatened to quit if Marko is gone. So this January, Horner gave Marko a new three-year contract till 2027, but he gave the old man a 50% pay cut. The idea is, perhaps, Marko could feel insulted by the money and quit on his own, but Marko chose to stay on. Horner also has issues with the CEO, Oliver Minzlaff. The CEO can't seem to control Horner because he is simply not Dietrich Mateschitz. Both men believe that they would get more power in the organization if one could oust the other. When Horner knew about the allegations, Eric Van Haren reported that Horner's lawyers offered the lady 760,000 euro to keep quiet, but that apparently has not worked. Offering her money doesn't necessarily make him guilty. Sometimes, it is better to pay off the money than defend yourself in the media. It appears that this could have been settled internally if not it was leaked to the press. A sexual misconduct via text doesn't seem like what a sexual predator will use. And if it was really bad, there is no way Red Bull would have allowed him present the RB20. We just have to wait this out. Leave us your thoughts in the comments. This is Front Lockout, signing off.